Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to give a crack at having a go at explaining the exponential functions and the definition of E, or I guess where E comes from. Um, first, I'm going to, of all, I'm going to start by saying that E um, is irrational. Okay, it is an irrational number, like pi, I guess, um, that is equal to approximately, approximately, two point seven one eighty two eighty one. 82, 81, dot, 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 etc. Now, I'm going to say that out of the whole tutorial today, that is all you need to come out with. Number one, for HSC guys, you don't need to know that particularly because it's in your calculator. Okay, you'll see a key in your calculator that looks like this. Okay, and if you put E to the power of one, that's what it's going to come up with. So you don't need to know any of this in my um, purpose, I guess, uh, for the two-unit course. Um, but just for those who are a little bit inquisitive and want to know where it comes from, um, this is what, what today is going to be about. Okay, first of all, um, in calculus we know that uh, we use differentiation to find the gradients or, or of tangents at certain points. Now if we look at a graph, let's say an exponential graph, um, I guess an easy one, maybe like um, y is equal to 2x, okay? So that's 1 there, we know it goes through there, 1, it's going to go to the power of 1 is 2, so it's going to hit up there, so it's going to look something like this, okay? That's going to be my y equals to 2 to the power of x. So we might try to find, um, you know, the grade at any point. Let's say this is a point here, x. Don't know what that point's going to be. I'm going to call it x. So we're going to look at f find the gradient at that particular point. Okay, um, at that particular point there. Um, so this is what we're going to be looking at. Okay. So to start off by looking at that, we know that we differentiate this in order to find out the value of the gradient at that point. So how do I differentiate to the power of x? A little bit more challenging. So what I'm going to do, because it is more challenging, we're going to differentiate from first principles. You might remember that back in year 11. Okay, first principles, which looks something like this. Um, fx plus h minus f of x all over h as the limit of h approaches 0. Okay, so I'm going to do that for this particular question. So let's chuck it in. So um, ddx, sorry, ddx. Um, as a limit, h approaches 0. It's a bit messy today. Sorry about that. Okay, so f of x plus h. Well, I've got 2. I'm going to put x plus h where the x is. So x plus h minus 2 to the power of x all over h. Now, likewise, you remember doing this. We like to try to factorize. We don't want to have h on the bottom there. So let's factorize a bit. We're going to have the limit as h approaches 0. I can see that 2x is in both there. So 2x, that's sort of 2h minus 1 all over h. I can factorize a 2 out and put the 2x at the front. The limit as h approaches 0 of 2h minus 1 all over h. Now, this is a bit of an issue because I've still got h on the bottom there. So now if I put the 0 where the h is, that's going to give me an error on my calculator because it's undefined. So that's a bit of an issue. So what we might do, we might take a number that's close to 0. Okay, let's take double zero one, 1. And let's put that in there. So if I put that in there, Okay, we're going to get well, 2 to the power of 0 0.001 minus 1 all over 0 0.01. We chuck that into our calculator, and it's going to come up with a number of around about, I'll put my little approximate there, 0 0.69387. Okay, any decimal places there is fine. But remember, I've got, that's what the value of that is, and I've got times 2 to the power of x. Okay, so that's what the grade is at a particular point. Okay, the grade is going to be that, that number there. Um, with different uh, exponential graphs, that number there will probably change. So let's have a look at another question, or another graph, should I say. Let's have a look at the graph of y is equal to 3 to the power of x. So again, I'm going to put it in. I'm going to use y dash this time. It's equal to the limit 
as h approaches 0. Now it's going to be 3 to the x plus h minus 3 to the x all over h. I'm going to do exactly the same thing um, as I did last time. I'm going to put 3x outside of 3h minus 1 all over h. Again, that's because I've taken 3 to the power of x, 5 times these two together, I get x plus h which is there, and 3 to the power of x times 1 is that amount there. Um, okay, then take the 3x at the front, or 3 to the power of x at the front, the limit as h approaches 0, we get 3h minus 1 over h, exactly as we did last time. So once again, we can't put 0 there because it's going to give me uh, an answer that's an error because it's undefined. So I'm going to then chuck it back in. I'm going to chuck in 0 0.001, just like I did last time, because that's very close to 0. So if I put that into my calculator there for h, okay, we're going to come out this time with an answer of 1.09921, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so therefore, um, y dash is equal to 1.0 or 0 0.09921, times 3 to the power of x. Now those two answers were quite similar. The only difference was there, I've got this number in the front of it which has changed. Now in general, okay, for your logs, your dy dx of your exponential, a to the power of x, okay, we get a number, the answer of k times a to the power of x. Again, that's a general sort of rule where k is a constant number but k will change okay k will change for different exponential graphs um, it's a nice idea um, well actually what I might start start with at the moment we know that I've looked at the first two where you know we have um, y equals to the power of x we had the answer y dash which was 0 0.69, let's say 69 times 2 to the power of x. We had for y equals 3 to the power of x, then y dash was equal to 1.09921 times 3 to, power, 3 to the power of x. You can sort of go off the screen there. And what would be nice, right, it would be nice if we could have something in the middle of that, so that for whatever my graph is going to be, so that y dash would equal to 1 times whatever it's going to be to the power of x. Okay, because what that's going to mean is that y and y dash are going to be equal. So that's quite interesting. It, it might bring out an interesting sort of property. Um, so what number might lie between, you know, 2 to the power of x and 3 to the power of x to yield that answer? Now that was a big question many years ago and thankfully there's a lot of people who have been a lot smarter than me and most likely smarter than you um, who delved into that whole scenario and they came out with this a number which was going to be approximately 2.718281822 dot 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 to the power of x and they figure that number when you did it properly okay it yielded as an answer 1 times 2.718281822 dot 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 to the power of x which means that y equals y dash they're the same now that number just like when we had pi which pi was 3. Um, one four dot 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 that number was given a special symbol and that number we know as e okay gives a special property and particularly helps us with um, with calculus okay it will help us with calculus um, but again the probably most important thing that you need to remember is that e is equal to um, approximately 2.718281822 dot 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 etc. Um, it goes on forever, in, but it, it doesn't repeat itself there. It is irrational. That's probably important to note. Okay, but again, we don't need to know that. Our calculator has that in it or in it there already. Calculator. Okay, which um, a lot of time is uh, is 
using Shift LN um, to get it. But if you have a look in your calculator, you will see it. But usually it is above the LN, which is Shift LN um, to get it. Okay, um, hopefully that sort of uh, made a little bit of sense. Um, if it didn't, uh, which is a good chance, then don't worry too much. Just remember that E is an irrational number that's uh, going to be standard um, for a lot of our calculus questions. Alrighty, hope, uh, hope you found this a little bit useful.